Welcome to the Drunken Animals at HeroCon. Woo! It's our first official con. Uh, What's our first table? As you see, <laughs> as you can see Stabby here. Gabby is doing a video. Woohoo! Yay. Yay! Stabby Gabby. Okay. Uh, we have a special guest here. We have Teresa. Hi. And uh, what Hello, was, what's the group that you We're represent? We're with Heroes Alliance here in Austin, Texas, but we are a worldwide superhero costuming volunteer organization. Awesome. Uh, how long have you guys been doing this? So the Austin chapter just started this year, 2015, and Heroes Alliance is 10 years old. Nice. Whoa. Wow. How many cons do you come to a year? Myself? Um, I try to hit up as many major cons as I mm. can, but it's, I usually try to keep it low-key, about three or four Okay. a year. And uh, does, uh, does Heroes Alliance, do they usually go to a lot of cons? Heroes Alliance is actually so well known that this organization usually always has a booth in every major con. So whether wow. it's Dragon Con uh -huh. or... Um, Kamapalooza. Kamapalooza. Wizard World. Uh, Wizard World, yes. Yeah. You know, all the big ones. All the big ones. They, uh, Heroes Alliance is actually recognized by DC Comics and Marvel Comics, nice. the Marvel Universe. Again, being the very first and the most well known Superhero costuming volunteer organization. We've gotten a lot of props, and we only do superheroes. Nice. Oh, man. We only do superheroes. Nice. I was going to ask if Captain Tangent could be part of the Heroes <laughs> Alliance. <laughs> I am neither hero nor villain. He's a rogue, apparently, <laughs> right? I am rogue. Oh, uh, sorry, he, yeah. He just, he just likes screwing with people's like conversations, really. Yep, that's it. <laughs> that's all I do. That's what he does. I well, this you're year. very believable in, in your persona. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> do you speak to the animals? No. No. I just happen to have this giraffe because <laughs> it is the only thing that confuses me. It's up for like 23 hours a day. What is it plotting? It only sleeps for an hour and it's little antennas. What is it making? What plans does it have? That it needs to be constantly oh. vigilantly awake. And that's pretty intense. So, okay. Uh, scary okay. creature, but I scary carry him creature. because he's a little he's a little guy. He's a little so guy. Yeah, him, so you're okay. It reminds me it reminds me of that commercial from like Direct TV where the guy's like He's like super rich, and so he has a little <laughs> tiny giraffe. And he like goes and he tries to touch it, and he goes, ah. <laughs> <laughs> So today, you know, I'm I'm actually doing a superhero, but I wouldn't do this at a Heroes Alliance event. My uh -huh. Golden Age Black Cat by Harvey nice. Comics. Wow. Um, you know, I'm just. I, awesome. We want to try to actually do the more recognizable yeah. pop culture DC or Marvel mm -hmm. comics. So Superman, um, Batman, Wonder Woman, Supergirl. Right. Yeah. You know, the real popular ones, and of course, Marvel's Avengers is huge. So. And you have no idea the, the superhero smiles that light up on children's faces uh -huh. when they're in a hospital and they see a superhero right. walk into the room. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of, of chapters in Florida, but one chapter in Florida went to a children's hospital. And just like here in Texas, mm -hmm. many of the children are bilingual. Yeah. And this one child was speaking Spanish and, of course, all of a sudden, spider man speaking Spanish to a child in the hospital. Wow. That's awesome. You know, so it's, it's little things like that. You know, you really, it just warms the heart. And that's really what this organization is all about. Yeah. That's amazing. I, I'm glad you guys came by and talked to us. Um, what, what's the next, uh, what's, what do you have coming up in the future for Heroes Alliance? Uh, June 20th, we actually have an event here in Austin, Texas. We work with Grassroots. It's uh -huh. actually... Um, it's a, a bilingual autism help agency. Really? It's the first Hispanic autism awareness help agency in Austin. Wow. A lot of the nonprofits for children or for parents or for disabled, it's English only mm -hmm. speaking. Yeah. So Grassroots, Maria Hernandez started it so that people who only speak Spanish, you know, or have problems understanding English yeah. could get the help. You know, so nice. that's, that's they're, they're a wonderful organization to work with. We just dress up and, and just have fun with the children. That's awesome. awesome. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate thank you. you coming by the booth and just talking to yeah. us and, and telling us about Heroes Alliance. 
That's amazing. I'm glad that they're doing that kind of special well, work. Well, please come over and get a picture with us, and we'll post it on our Facebook awesome. page. Awesome. Yeah. I think Captain Tan is going to get more, wonderful, uh, more wonderful. attention. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Thank you again. So, appreciate it. Thank you. All right. They're great.